<laughs> hey guys, so <laughs> Nigerians and eh, Nigerian governments will never cease to amaze Nigerian citizens. <laughs> okay, guys. So the news is that Senate began hearing of bills to fine Nigerians fifty thousand naira for failing to send children to school. <laughs> See, when I heard this say, uh, when I saw this news, I laugh, eh? I laugh. But anyway, let me read it the way they wrote it, the way the news is being carried. So it says, the Senate has passed for fax reading a bill that recommends a fine for 50,000 naira to parents who default in providing their children with primary and secondary school education. The Red Chambers also recommended free meals for every child in the country. Mm -hmm. The bill proposed by Senator Oji Kalo, titled Compulsory Free Universal Basic Education at 2004, Section 2, states that every government in Nigeria shall provide free compulsory and universal basic education for every child of primary and junior secondary school age. According to Punch, the Act further states that every parent shall ensure that his child or ward attend and complete his primary school education and junior secondary school education by endeavoring to send the child to primary and junior secondary schools. The Act further states that stakeholders in education in a local government areas shall ensure that every parent or persons who has the care and custody of a child performs the duty imposed on him under section two of two of this act. It went further to say that the act further noted that a parent who contravenes the earlier prescription shall be liable on the facts convention to be reprimanded. On a second conviction, a fine of 2,000 naira or imprisonment for a term of one month or both. And on some subs subsequent conviction to a fine of 5,000 naira or imprisonment for a term of two months or to both. The Senate, however, in its amendment proposed 50,000 naira fines instead of the 5,000 naira previously stated in the Act. The amendment states that Section 4B of the Principal Act is amended by deleting 2,000 naira and inciting 20,000 naira. Section 4C of the Principal Act is amended by deleting 5,000 naira and inciting 50,000 naira. In add, it added that Section 3 and 2 of the Principal Act is amended by deleting 10,000 naira and inciting 100,000 naira. It stated a person who receives or obtained any fee contrary to the provision of subsection 1 of the section commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a fine not exceeding 10,000 naira or imprisonment for a term of three months or to both. Every parent shall ensure that his child receives full-time education suitable to his age, ability, and aptitude by regular attendance at school. However, the state proposed the Senate proposes hundred thousand naira in replacement of the ten thousand naira. The Senate proposed section three two of the principal act is amended by deleting ten thousand naira and inciting hundred thousand naira. Hey hey Hey, my people, no be smart, you know. <laughs> you know what, eh? When I hear about this thing, when I just see them, I laugh, like I said before. And then my mind just went to the northern part of the Nigeria. <laughs> how many and how many? Like, I don't get it. Why are these people not doing the right thing? They should look into the main issues and not this. Okay. 
which fine, like which money are these parents actually going to use to pay for the fine? People that have not seen money for school fees are the ones that you are, you are passing a bill to pay a fine for. <laughs> I love that. When they are deliberately hiking the school fees without even correspond, without the school fees corresponding to the minimum wage. Do you know that the minimum wage now, after the increase last time, it has become about 65,000 naira now. And there are many people, there are many schools, I beg, I beg, I beg. I know that these people are trying to copy. The people that are trying to copy, they should take a look at the places they are trying to copy from. Yes, in the West, this primary school to secondary school is free. In fact, the government even went, goes as far as sponsoring both the books that they use to buy to study and then to the university level it is not free but they can even get a loan access to a loan the loan the loan this thing that our president passed that has a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, what would i call it now that it has to, that it came with eh at the end you have to pay immediately you finish your youth service you will start paying for the money <laughs> my goodness nigeria president and nigerian government this we should actually do better we can do better we can actually do better most children most people don't send their children to school because they cannot afford even feeding common feeding they cannot even afford it and these are the people you are about to find because they did not send their children to school eh really hmm my people, this one tire me oh, no be smart in our bag, eh? They could not follow me chuck mad for this matter. The same senators who forge certificates <laughs> are the ones who are coming here now to tell us that they will find parents. Like seriously, what did what they don't even know that they should think. Let them try to fix the main issue here. Why would the parents not want to send their children to school? These are parents who can barely feed. Families who can barely feed three square meals or even two square meals a day. Eh? They're talking about them sending. Okay, now if they, if they don't have money to send those children to school and you're coming to find them because they did not send their children to school. Huh. Please, you guys should fix, fix what Nigeria needs. Fix the country and stop these things they are doing. Okay? The, the 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 very thing about this whole thing is that they should try and em, as they are emulating those countries that are emulating, they should think about what made those countries, what what other applications have they applied to arrive to where they are today. These are things we should be talking about.